Many questions and few answers following Multnomah County's decision to reverse course on the health department's plan to give out tinfoil, straws, and snorting kits to people battling addiction. The county suspended that plan on Monday. County leaders say protocols to expand the harm reduction program we're not followed. Good evening. Thanks a lot for joining us, everybody. I'm Steve Dunn. And I'm Rick Asway in for Denver Nap. We've been pressing county leadership all day for answers, but have not heard back. K2's Ricardo Lewis is live for us in southwest Portland. Ricardo, you also reached out to the health department. What are they telling you? Well, I ask the, the health department, where do we go from here as the county continues to battle this drug addiction crisis? We're also seeing across the country, uh, the health department referred me back to a statement they released yesterday saying no one was available today. Multnomah County leaders are silent on Tuesday, just a day after Multnomah County Chair Jessica Vega Peterson suspended the health department's plan to give out smoking supplies for harm reduction purposes. We first learned about the plan last week after our news partners at Willamette Week broke the story. An uproar followed as those critical of the plan spoke out. Rewind to two weeks ago when the health department gave an update on fentanyl and overdoses at a county commission board meeting in June. In a PowerPoint slide during discussions on harm reduction, smoking supplies were mentioned, but there was no conversation about tinfoil and snorting kits being handed out to people using drugs. K2 requested an interview Tuesday with the health department to see what steps it will take as the plan is on hold. We were referred back to the statement issued on Monday that says, for the time being, our focus will be on expanding our legal analysis to deepen our confidence and assurance in the scope of our operations. The health department says it will be collaborating with the county chair and all county commissioners to help the public understand harm reduction. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler strongly opposed the plan. He vowed to prevent it from moving forward on Monday. K2 News followed up with him after the plan was suspended. He said harm reduction has a valid place in the spectrum of strategies to address substance use disorders. However, by the county's own accounts, fentanyl is unlike any other substance seen in the last 40 years. Interventions that have been historically successful with other opioids do not have the same impact against fentanyl. And importantly, smoking or inhaling fentanyl does not reduce overdose events. Now, the mayor says that more research and data is needed before a plan like this could be put in place. It will remain on pause for right now while county leadership gives it another look over. We're live in southwest Portland. Ricardo Lewis, K2 News. Ricardo, thank you for that.